So Trudeau is in the middle of a speaking tour right now across Canada, and he was recently in uh, Nanaimo, B.C., and he was questioned by a veteran as to why he was still fighting the courts, uh, I mean the, the veterans in the courts, and his answer was they are asking uh, for more than we are able to give right now. And this is pretty ridiculous because before the Liberals came into office, uh, veterans were getting something like $2,700 per month. And when the Liberals came into office, they reduced that to something like $1,150 per month. So if you live in Canada, you know that that is not nearly enough to live. You cannot survive off of $1,000 a month unless you're living in near poverty. So for them to do this and for him to say they don't have enough is just such a slap in the face to uh, the veterans of Canada, considering the amount of money he is wasting and spending in green energy, spending billions of dollars investing in other countries like China. He's spending billions of dollars relocating refugees into Canada. He was he was questioned, and I think a different province as well as to uh, why, what is what is he going to do about ISIS and why he he is bringing these people in? And his answer was, oh well, back in the day, Italians were discriminated against, and we weren't really sure about them, but eventually they integrated, and Canada is a place of diversity, and you know just the typical bullshit liberal lines, not really directly answering it, and it's just fucking bullshit. Like he's just doing everything he possibly can to spit in native canadians faces while he's helping people from all over the world or not even really helping them but just throwing money at them so clearly we know where his allegiances lie it's not within canadians it is within immigrants it's within uh people from different countries because he knows who his voter base is he knows who typically votes for liberals so this is why he doesn't give a shit anymore and you know i i really hope canadians wake up and do not fucking vote for this guy again but our media is so corrupt and we are it is completely funded by the liberals and there's all these new things because our media in canada is having a lot of trouble as well these newspapers all this shit now all they're all going to start getting grants from the government to uh, sustain their business because they they're no longer competitive anymore you know their their newspapers are going out of business this is the same in a lot of different countries so the state is coming in to fund them and do you think that the C cbc and all the canadian media that is getting millions and millions and millions of dollars every year from the liberals are going to say anything negative about them no, they are not. This is the problem with state-run media, and this is why we should not have it. Because whichever government gives them the most amount of money, they're going to they're they're going to cover them uh, better, right? Like the conservatives, when they come in, they're going to slash their their budget. So of course they're going to say uh, whatever they can about them to, and they're going to make Trudeau. They're going to put him in the best light and make him seem like a good leader and. Canadians don't pay attention that much to the news, so they're going to read stuff sporadically, and they're going to be like, oh, he's doing a pretty good job, and this and that, but like, man, like, he's bringing in ISIS members, and he's, le he's, he's, to legitimize, he's saying like, oh, well, you know, people, they come in from all walks of life, and they'll eventually integrate, it's like, no, man, these people will not integrate, okay, <laughs> ISIS members were not, will not integrate, and it's like, how can he run on this? This, this is, Canadians are so fucking stupid. Like, he ran on, on a deficit and got elected, right? He's like, oh, we're going to run deficits and all this shit. And then his deficits are three times the size that he ran on. He's like, oh, we're going to do a modest deficit, $10 billion every year. And a deficit is different than a debt, okay? So that's what people have to realize as well. It's much different and it's much worse. You know, $10 billion debt it's not as bad as $10 billion deficit. But but yeah, it's three times the size. So this guy, he, he's racking up our debt, but he can't fork over a little bit for veterans who fought for Canada. Like, fuck Trudeau. Uh, you know, 
I'm going to work my very best to, to, you know, try to wake people up to the fact that this guy is not for Canada. He is against us. He is for other people. He is not, you know, he's a multiculturalist. He's a, he's a globalist, you know, openly, essentially. You know, he's for everybody else. He says Canada is not for Canadians. It's for immigrants. So it's like, you know, this guy's actively working against us. We need to, we need to form up and make sure. I know I keep, I keep making this point, but like, fuck, if he gets elected another, another year or another term, like Canada is fucked. <laughs> like, I don't want to be hyperbolic, but the propositions that he's going to make is going to make us not uh, like when the last recession hit in 2008, we fared the best in the world because of Harper. And we did we did great compared to everybody else. But under Trudeau running with these massive def deficits and the way he's spending right now, the next time uh, financial crisis hits, which is probably going to be soon, uh, we're going to be in a really tough fucking position. It's all going to be because of Trudeau and they're going to come out and blame conservatives somehow and you know i don't know but <laughs> uh you know trudeau is he just keeps exposing himself in these meetings like or i mean in these uh, open discussions and i'm glad there are some canadians at least out there calling him out and making him look like a fucking idiot like the idiot he fucking is but that's all i pretty much had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a good day see ya